Graduating college is a major achievement for anyone, but imagine that within a year of graduating, you received $500,000 in funding for an idea you came up with in class. Seriously. That's what happened to 30-year-old Josh Aviv, founder of Spark Charge, and his idea is a simple one. A professor came into class one day, said, you know, if you want to solve a huge problem for the world, solve the problem of infrastructure for electric vehicles. And he said, if you're interested, you know, meet with me after class. And I was the only person to show up. Josh and his economics professor had their discussion in 2014. And eight years later, lack of EV charging infrastructure is still one of the biggest concerns among potential EV buyers. According to Autolist.com's annual electric vehicle survey, range anxiety and lack of charging stations are among consumers' top worries. If you wanted to really open the door to have freedom with the electric vehicle, be able to drive the electric vehicle virtually anywhere, you needed a charging system that could match that experience. Spark Charge provides on-demand charging for electric vehicles. You can select the time, the place, choose your vehicle, how much range you want, and with the push of a button, it gets brought to you. So the same way that you would order food from Uber Eats or Grubhub is the same way that you can now have energy brought to your vehicle. There's three numbers to look out for in Josh's story. $4,500, the amount of prize money won in his first pitch competition. $500,000, the funding he received from his first investor. And one million, the number of miles that Spark Charge has delivered to its customers. Here's how Josh Aviv took a college idea and turned it into a $110 million company. For CNBC Make It, I'm Zach Green. This is Founder Effect. Growing up in Dallas, Texas, Josh says that business was always something in the back of his mind, possibly stemming from his family background. My grandfather was an entrepreneur. He ran his own shipping and logistics company. Um, and at the time, I really didn't know what an entrepreneur was right, or what an entrepreneur did. I didn't even think of him as an entrepreneur. I just thought, you know, that's his job. It wasn't really until I started my own business that I realized that I had grown up around an entrepreneur, you know, practically in my early childhood. Josh attended Syracuse University in New York, where he majored in economics. When I arrived on Syracuse, I did not think I was going to start a business. So the class was environmental economics. The professor was Professor Peter Wilcoxon. And we started talking about the electric vehicle market and the problems that we were having with infrastructure now that we are now starting to see magnified 10 times today, right? From those conversations, went and started Spark Charge. To raise initial capital for a startup, Josh entered Syracuse University's Raymond Von Dran iPrize pitch competition in 2017, where he won $4,500. Josh says he was able to raise about $150,000 in total from other competitions. That same year, he officially incorporated his new company. We needed something that really, you know, got our value proposition through kind of clear just from hearing the name, right? So spark meaning electricity, but also meaning quick, also meaning, you know, in a hurry, charge because that's what we do, we charge vehicles. But in order to charge vehicles, Josh would have to come up with a device to do it. That product would eventually become the Roadie. When we think about the roadie, it's comprised of two parts, right? It's comprised of a charger and a modular battery, right? Uh, the charger handles the power, plugs into the car, sends the energy in, and then the batteries are the energy storage that send the energy into the charger that goes into the vehicle. And so, you know, our system is modular, so you can connect the modular battery blocks together, kind of like Lego blocks, to increase the amount of range that goes into the vehicle. We had some very early prototypes that were super simple, but nowhere near what we have now, right? We really had to go start, build out our engineering team. To fund the development of the roadie, Josh found Boston-based VC firm Point Judith Capital in 2018. We were introduced to Point Judith Capital after attending a clean tech conference in New York City. I think you know, the initial round was about half a million dollars. Josh was able to secure an additional $1 million in funding in 2020 from Mark Cuban and Lori Grenier when he appeared on a little show called Shark Tank. Do we have a deal? We got a deal. We have a deal. Let's charge us up. Let's charge us up. I think some good advice that we've received from Mark would just be manage your cash flow, right? I think startups, you know, come and go, right, based off of how well they're able to manage their cash flow. I think another big one is make sure you pick the right team, right? So make sure that you invest in your team and invest in your culture. As his funding grew, Josh was able to grow his business and improve the tech behind the roadie. Initial prototype was able to deliver three to five miles off its battery pack. And now we have the Rodi V3 and the Rodi V3 hybrid. Those are now able to output up to 200 miles at a given time, 200, 250 miles each. The Rodi V3 can do about 15 miles every 60 seconds. 
As of this year, Spark Charge has raised over $30 million, which has helped raise the company's value. After our most recent funding, it's valued, you know, somewhere around $110 million. And while the company has not made its revenue public, Josh says they're on track to bring in $10 million this year. The company's main source of income is through their Currently app, where users can have a charge delivered to them by putting in their car's location and the amount of charge needed. I remember the first time that, you know, we actually showed up to deliver a charge from someone who found the app, right, and downloaded it and called for a charge, and literally seeing the light bulb on their face, like that aha moment of, oh wait, like, this can actually be brought to me. That was, you know, a really big aha moment where I was like, wow, we're actually onto something special here. Currently, subscribers pay between five and $30 a month for the service, and between 51 and 69 cents per kilowatt hour. That's about the same cost as filling up a 16 gallon tank once. We save EV owners and our fleet partners a ton of money, right? If you think about it, to tow an electric vehicle, you need to bring a flatbed tow truck, right? You then need to tow the vehicle to a charging station, jump the 12 volt, plug it in, and then sit and wait. With mobile charging, we're actually able to remove, you know, 90% of that. We can show up, jump the 12 volt, charge it at the same time, and the vehicle can be on its way back into service or along its journey. Spark Charge offers currently in 121 cities, like LA, San Francisco, and Dallas, Texas. It's planning on expanding to San Diego, Phoenix, and New York City in the coming year. Josh says they've already surpassed their goal of providing 10,000 miles of range to their customers. I think we're on track this year to deliver over a million miles of range to EV owners and to our fleet partners. Our expansion plans are really focused on where do electric vehicle owners need range, where is the infrastructure really not built up. Earlier this year, Spark Charge also partnered with Kia Motors to provide new Kia EV buyers with two months of complimentary currently service in LA, San Francisco, and San Jose, California. A lot of the big players, it really enables them to A, sell more vehicles and offer a more convenient charging experience that traditional charging stations just can't offer. The convenience, the accessibility, the ease of use, it means now that they don't have to worry about, you know, lack of infrastructure, they don't have to worry about trying to, you know, educate the customer too much on, okay, well you can charge here, but you can't charge here, right? It opens up the door to a seamless EV charging network that their customers can tap into. In addition to mobile charging, Spark Charge sells the roadie to companies with electric fleets, saving them the cost of having to build fixed charging stations at their facilities. Spark Charge has also developed its own fixed charging station, the Rodi V3 Hybrid, which runs wirelessly. So instead of taking 12 to 24 months to put a single charging station fixed in the ground, we can actually install the Rodi V3 Hybrid in under an hour. And so that means that your deployment time goes down your cost goes down and your infrastructure goes up. And that means that you can now service more vehicles in a more cost-effective and a more seamless way. Under President Biden's bipartisan infrastructure law, the U.S. is providing states with $1 billion over the next four years to build more EV infrastructure, including charging stations. Josh believes spark charge and mobile charging will play a vital role in the emerging EV marketplace. As we see more infrastructure built throughout the country, that's gonna be probably a 15, 20, 25 year, you know, roadmap. The benefit of mobile charging that we have, right, is that we can actually grow and scale faster than those deployments of stationary chargers. We can be up and running in a city in under 14 days. We can blanket that entire city with energy. And so for us, you know, we really don't see the infrastructure growth as competition. We believe that success is focused on the ease of use of mobile charging. And any time that you look at whether a business has been successful or whether it's been able to scale, so long as that business can create a more accessible, more sustainable, more seamless, you know, more scalable product, typically that is the option that is chosen. And so for us, you know, the more cities we enter, the more partners we're able to work with, you know, the more electric vehicles will be able to grow in those markets. And so that's something that we're extremely excited about.